Interest in Egyptian antiquities has been sparked a long time ago. Modern archaeologists make new discoveries annually in the land of the pharaohs, yet this region still holds many mysteries and secrets. In this video, I invite you to explore the most sensational finds discovered in Egypt. Enjoy your viewing. Egypt never ceases to amaze archaeologists with new discoveries. In 2023, near the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser in Saqqara, one of the oldest burials in the area was discovered. At the bottom of a 15-meter deep shaft, several sarcophagi and wooden statues were found. Inside one of the sarcophagi, researchers discovered a mummy covered with a thin layer of gold. After a detailed study, experts announced that the mummy is about 4,300 years old. Historians explained that at that time, the Egyptians were just beginning to practice embalming. Before this, mummification occurred naturally. However, Egyptians already covered the bodies of influential people with gold to bring the deceased closer to the gods in the afterlife. It is likely that the person whose mummy was discovered was one of the pharaoh's close associates. However, no names were inscribed on the statues near the burial site, so their identity remains unknown. In 2015, Czech archaeologists were conducting excavations in the necropolis of Abusir, southwest of Cairo, where they discovered a tomb with a mummy dating back about 4,500 years. The mummy belonged to a woman. In addition to the remains, the tomb contained several statuettes, limestone and copper vessels, and jewelry. Initially, archaeologists did not know to whom the mummy belonged, but later, an inscription on the wall of the burial chamber revealed the identity of the woman as Queen Kentkaus III. Before the discovery of this tomb, historians knew nothing about this queen. However, now Egyptologists suggest that Kentkaus III was the wife of the 5th dynasty pharaoh Neferirkare, who reigned from 2460 to 2458 BCE, and the mother of his successor, Menkahor. This was indicated by the wall inscription Mother of the King in the burial chamber. According to the Minister of Antiquities, Mamdu El Damati, the discovery of this tomb is a very important find in Egyptology. It has helped historians fill in gaps in the history of the 5th dynasty. Every archaeological find undergoes further scientific analysis after its discovery. Thanks to modern technologies, experts can learn many details about various objects. Thus, Australian scientists managed to unravel the mystery of a clay mummy, about 3,500 years old. The mummy came into the scientists' hands after being stored for a long time at the University of Sydney. After a detailed study of the pelvic bones, skull, and jaw, it became clear that the remains belonged to a woman. By visualizing the dental arch, Experts determined that she died at the age of about 26, 35 years. A distinctive feature of this mummy was a mud layer completely covering the deceased's body. Scanning the mud shell helped scientists learn details about the mummification of this woman. Similar remains covered in clay had been found before, but it was not understood why the clay was applied. As it turned out, the mud shell served several purposes. It helped preserve the remains, which had been damaged due to mistakes made during the initial mummification process. In other words, the mummy was covered in mud much later, not immediately. The ancient Egyptians believed that bodily damage would prevent them from entering the afterlife, and the clay shell securely sealed the damaged remains. Moreover, the clay coating somewhat resembled the resin shells created for the mummies of wealthy individuals. Thus, this practice could have been an imitation of the burial customs of the elite. As you can see, thanks to modern methods, scientists have managed to uncover the secret of the clay mummies. In 2000, archaeologists made an unusual discovery in the Theban necropolis of Sheikh Abd el Kurna, a mummy with a prosthetic big toe. Initially, scientists believed it was made about 2,500 years ago, but further study using computer tomography and radiography confirmed that it is at least 3,000 years old, making it the oldest prosthesis ever found. 
Investigation of the materials and elements of the find showed that the prosthesis was attached to the owner's foot multiple times, meaning it could be removed and worn again. The prosthesis consisted of a wooden toe and a fastening plate. All these elements were movable and secured with strong threads. It was originally thought that the toe was used as a post-mortem decoration. Possibly, the person believed that without a toe, they could not enter the afterlife. So the prosthesis helped compensate for this deficiency. However, all the research conducted by scientists indicated that the individual wore the toe prosthesis during their lifetime, meaning it was used for walking. In 2021, Spanish archaeologists discovered two tombs with human remains, dating back 2,500 years, in El Banasa. The remains belonged to a man and a woman, each in a separate limestone sarcophagus. Many artifacts such as burial goods, statuettes, and jewelry were also found at the burial site. The woman's tomb showed signs of looting, whereas the man's tomb was completely untouched, so his remains were excellently preserved. A distinctive feature of this discovery was that instead of tongues, gold plates were found in the mouths of the deceased. Archaeologists had previously found human remains with gold tongues in Egypt. This ritual was quite common among the ancient Egyptians, as gold was associated with the gods. Moreover, the Egyptians believed in an afterlife, but before one could enter the realm of the dead, Osiris had to permit this. It is likely that people understood that they could not speak with the gods, but believed that a golden tongue could help them partially approach and communicate with Osiris. Therefore, embalmers sometimes cut off the deceased's tongue and replaced it with a gold plate. Today this ritual might seem strange, but at the time, people believed that this method would guarantee them life in the afterlife. During excavations in the Fayum Oasis, archaeologists discovered the remains of a child lying atop the remains of 142 dogs. Experts estimate that the boy was about eight, nine years old at the time of death. Notably, most of the dogs were buried with the child as puppies. The age of these remains is about 2,100 years. The burial of the child with the dogs was likely a ritual, although such practice was not widespread in ancient Egypt. Only one other similar burial had previously been known, located in the necropolis of Hierakompolis. Initially, archaeologists leaned towards the theory that the burial ritual of the child with the dogs was related to foreign customs, but further research did not support this. Examination of the puppies and boys' remains showed that none had signs of violent death. Additionally, clay was found atop the remains of the dogs. These details led scientists to speculate that the child and dogs perished during a severe flood. However, the mystery remains as to why the boy's head was covered with a linen bag if it was merely an accident. French archaeologist Pierre Monte dreamed of finding an untouched pharaoh's tomb. For ten years he searched, and finally in the 1940s in Tanis, fortune smiled upon him. However, due to the outbreak of war, he was forced to return to France. In 1951, the archaeologist returned to Tanis to continue exploring the tomb he had discovered. Upon opening the tomb, it was revealed to belong to Pharaoh Susens I, who ruled from 1039 to 993 BCE. The Pharaoh rested in three sarcophagi. The outer one was made of pink granite, the middle one of black granite, and the innermost, containing the mummy, was made of silver. Monte was astonished by his find. In ancient Egypt, silver was valued more highly than gold because it was sourced from beyond the region. Both silver and gold were considered sacred metals associated with the gods, gold symbolizing the flesh of the gods and silver their bones. The silver sarcophagus weighed 90 kilograms. Such luxury testified to Susen's incredible wealth. Unfortunately, the pharaoh's mummy was almost completely decayed due to water infiltration. The sarcophagus also contained burial items such as a death mask, sandals, and finger coverings made of pure gold, as well as bracelets, rings, and a lapis lazuli necklace that the pharaoh had made himself. The discovery of this tomb was a significant event in Egyptology. 
The treasures from the sarcophagus are now housed in the Cairo Egyptian Museum, and anyone can admire them. In 2021, about 20 kilometers from Cairo, archaeologists made one of the most significant discoveries in Egyptology in the last 50 years. They uncovered the ruins of an ancient temple dedicated to the sun god Ra, dating back about 4,500 years. Historians report that the temple was built during the reign of the 5th dynasty of ancient Egypt, between 2465 and 2323 BCE. At that time, such temples were constructed for pharaohs to endow them with the power of the gods during their lifetime. It is believed that six of these temples were built, but to date, only three have been found. The latest of these sun god temples was constructed from mud brick. It was at least 60 meters long and about 20 meters wide. The temple walls were painted black and white and decorated with red and blue paintings, parts of which have partially survived to this day. In the courtyard of the sanctuary, there was a column aligned with the sun. Many ritual items were discovered within the temple ruins. All these architectural features and artifacts indicate that this temple is one of the six temples dedicated to the sun god Ra. In August 2023, Egyptian paleontologists reported a new, previously unstudied species of ancient cetacean whose remains were found in Egypt. The age of this discovery is 41 million years. The fossil whale was named after Tutankhamun, Tutetus rayonensis. This species belonged to the Bacillosauridae, the ancestors of all modern cetaceans. The body length of the individual found was 2.5 meters, and it weighed about 190 kilograms. This species was significantly smaller than other Bacillosaurids, whose body length exceeded 4 meters. Basilosaurids lived at a time when whales transitioned from land to water. At that time, whales were smaller and had limbs and a tail. The study of the found remains of the new species showed that the animal already lived in water. Its diet consisted of squid, octopuses, and various fish. It is unknown what caused the death of this individual, but scanning the remains revealed that it was still very young and had not yet reached sexual maturity. Such discoveries provide paleontologists with invaluable information about the stages of evolution of various animals. The Hypatia Stone is one of the most mysterious stones ever found on our planet. It was discovered in 1996 in the Libyan desert in Egypt. The stone was named in honor of Hypatia of Alexandria, a female philosopher scientist of late antiquity. Hypatia weighs only 3 grams, but it is older than our sun. The origin of this stone and how many billions of years it spent in space before falling to Earth are unknown. However, scientists continue to study it intensively. Research on the mysterious stone has shown that it predominantly contains carbon, along with oxygen, silicon, aluminum, magnesium, sodium, calcium, iron, and nitrogen. These elements do not match the composition of the solar system. This suggests that Hypatia is a meteorite that came from deep space. Scientists believe that this stone formed after a Type IA supernova explosion. Such supernovae are themselves formed by the explosion of white dwarfs. Hypatia is a unique meteorite that came to our planet from deep space. Undoubtedly, this stone holds incredible value for science. Today, tattoos are a popular body decoration, but did you know that this fashion was widespread in the first millennium BCE? During the New Kingdom period from 1550 to 1070 BCE, a settlement called Deir el Medina was primarily inhabited by artists and builders involved in constructing the pyramids. In 2019, extensive research was conducted in this area by archaeologists who uncovered a significant burial site of ancient Egyptians. Among all the remains found, the most interesting to archaeologists were the remains of two women with partially preserved skin that bore tattoos. Using modern tools, scientists were able to reconstruct the tattoo patterns, which turned out to be not merely body decorations, but a form of talisman. On the remains of the first woman, specifically on the left femur, there were images of the god Bess, the protector of women and children, as well as a cup. 
On the preserved skin of the second woman, there was the Egyptian symbol of the Eye of Horus, god bees in a feathered crown, and a zigzag line symbolizing water. Scientists concluded that these tattoos were made by the women to protect themselves from childbirth pain and shield their infants from dangerous diseases. During excavations in the ancient city of Akitaten, located 300 kilometers from Cairo, the remains of a young woman were discovered, dating back more than 3,300 years. Around the woman's neck was a necklace with teardrop-shaped pendants and three gold rings, one of which featured the image of the ancient Egyptian god Bees. Bees was considered the god of fun and festivity, but he was also a protector of pregnant women and small children. Unlike other Egyptian deities, Bees was depicted as a plump dwarf with a large head, long arms, and a protruding tongue. This deity detested all evil and aided people in combating it. Since it was believed that this god assisted in childbirth and protected infants from diseases, he was highly revered among women. It is known that items featuring his image were found with many married women in ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians believed in the afterlife and prepared meticulously for it. Interestingly, they not only mummified their bodies, but also their food. In several pharaoh's tombs, archaeologists have found mummified meat. For instance, in the tomb of Amenhotep III, beef ribs were discovered. Their preservation was achieved using resin from the pistachio tree. This material was expensive, and only very wealthy individuals, particularly pharaohs and their close associates, could afford to use this resin. Thanks to this ingredient, the beef ribs have been preserved for over 2,700 years. Similar finds with mummified food were also discovered in the tomb of Tutankhamun. Inside the pyramid, archaeologists found 48 boxes containing various types of preserved meat. In 2019, a team of archaeologists from the Sikait project conducted excavations at an ancient temple near the seaport of Bereniki. During the investigation, evidence of previously unknown rituals was found. The temple complex, which modern scientists have named the Falcon Temple, was built about 1700 years ago. At that time, much of Egypt's desert was overtaken by the nomadic Blemies of Nubia. The port of Berenike was also under the rule of this people. Historians believe that the ancient Egyptian Falcon Temple was adapted for the religious rituals of the nomads. Archaeological findings at the site have confirmed this version. In the ancient temple, various ritual items and a stele with rules of conduct in the sacred place were found. But the most interesting discovery was the burial site of 15 falcons, most of which were decapitated. Archaeologists had not encountered anything similar before. The falcon was considered a sacred bird by the ancient Egyptians, so it is unlikely they would have decapitated them. Historians have suggested that this ritual was performed by the Blemies in honor of Khonsu, the moon god. The decapitation of the falcons likely symbolized a victory over the sun god, Ra, who was depicted with a falcon's head. In 2017, archaeologists in Egypt discovered the oldest book dating back about 5,000 years. For several years, scientists worked on translating it. The contents of the manuscript truly shocked them. This book contained secrets about the origins of humanity, gods, and dark forces. Additionally, it predicted the end of the world, which would occur when humanity reached incredible heights and thereby angered the gods. Avoiding this was impossible, and on that day, every person would stand before the heavenly forces and receive punishment for their misdeeds, or blessing if they deserved it. Of course, we often hear various predictions about the end of the world, but it is fascinating to think that people living over 5,000 years ago pondered this. The Pyramid of Khufu, also known as the Pyramid of Cheops, located near Cairo on the Giza Plateau, is the largest of the Egyptian pyramids. Its current height is nearly 139 meters, though originally it was 146 meters tall. The pyramid is about 4,500 years old. 
Archaeological excavations have been conducted at the site for a long time, yet researchers have still not managed to find the body of Pharaoh Khufu. Some historians believe it may be hidden in a secret chamber. In 2015, participants of the Scan Pyramids project decided to check the pyramid for such rooms. Two years later, using Muin tomography, they made a sensational discovery. The scanning revealed a large void above the Grand Gallery. Researchers refrained from making hasty conclusions about whether the pharaoh's body could be in this room and continued their investigations. In 2023, using a long endoscope, scan pyramids managed to measure the secret chamber, which was found to be 2 meters wide and 9 meters long. However, these data have not yet helped determine the purpose of the cavity in the pyramid. Some experts believe that the empty space was deliberately left by the builders, but some archaeologists still hope that this chamber will help find the body of Khufu. Many people know that the oldest pyramid is the Pyramid of Djoser, built over 4,600 years ago. However, few know which pyramid was one of the last built by the Egyptians. The Pyramid of Amenemhat Kemau was constructed by the fifth pharaoh of the 13th dynasty in 1790 BCE. It was first discovered by archaeologists in 1957 and researched in 1968. Originally, the pyramid stood 35 meters tall, but it was heavily damaged after looting, and only the lower structures and subterranean sections remain today. This pyramid was built by Pharaoh Amenemhat Kemau, who ruled at the end of the Middle Kingdom era. Since his reign lasted only two years, from 1793 to 1791 BCE, Historians know very little about his biography. Recently, in the Dashur area, known as a necropolis of the pharaohs of the Old and Middle Kingdoms, archaeologists discovered the ruins of a pyramid estimated to be 3,700 years old. Remarkably, among the ruins of this pyramid, a slab with the name Amenemhat Kemau was found. Historians speculate that this pyramid belonged to the pharaoh's wife, as it was located next to the pyramid of Amenemhat Kemau. Further excavations may help historians learn more about the life of the fifth pharaoh of the 13th dynasty. <music> Kathleen Martinez, an archaeologist from the University of Santo Domingo, has been searching for the tomb of Cleopatra for many years, which remains undiscovered to this day. In 2022, she and her team made a sensational discovery that may finally help locate the burial place of the famous queen. During excavations at the site of the ruined city of Tapasiris Magna, located on the northern coast of Egypt, Martinez discovered a huge religious complex with three sanctuaries, a sacred lake, and many artifacts, some of which featured images of Alexander the Great, Cleopatra, and the Ptolemies. However, the most interesting discovery made by the archaeologists under Martinez's leadership was a complex of tunnels leading to the Mediterranean Sea. This tunnel system is located about 15 meters underground and has a total length of over 1,300 meters. According to Martinez, she speculated that the tomb of Cleopatra and her lover Mark Antony might be in the Temple of Osiris, since the queen was compared to Isis, Osiris's wife, in her time. Cleopatra probably sought a fitting place for burial and chose the temple in Tapasiris Magna to ultimately link her name with Isis and Mark Antony with Osiris. The Dominican researchers continue their investigations, and if Martinez is correct, they may soon make a sensational discovery and find the tomb of the Egyptian queen and her lover. In 2022, Archaeologists conducted excavations in the Fayum Oasis, where they discovered the ruins of an ancient burial house. Among the numerous artifacts found at the site, the so-called Fayum portraits aroused the greatest interest. The Fayum portraits were first discovered in the late 19th century by British archaeologist Flinders Petrie. These portraits were found on the shroud covering the mummies and depicted the faces of the deceased. The Fayum portraits demonstrate the skill of artists who lived from the 1st to the 3rd century CE. They are remarkable for their realism and show how Egyptian burial traditions changed under Greco-Roman influence. In 332 BCE, Egypt was conquered by Alexander the Great, 
after which the Ptolemaic dynasty came to power. The Ptolemaic period, from the 4th to the 1st century BCE, marked the beginning of the Hellenistic era, which completely changed Egyptian culture. It was during this era that the flourishing of burial portraits began, affordable only to the wealthiest and most influential people in Egypt. Indeed, looking at these portraits, it is hard to associate them with ancient Egypt and mummies. Excavations in Saqqara have been ongoing for a long time, but archaeologists continue to make new discoveries. In 2023, approximately 30 kilometers from Cairo, ancient tombs belonging to ancient priests, as well as two embalming workshops were found. One workshop was used for mummifying humans and the other for animals. These workshops date back to the 4th century BCE, when Egypt was ruled by the Ptolemaic dynasty. Both are well preserved. In the workshop designated for humans, various tools for embalming and a set of clay pots with inscriptions were found. Thanks to these instructions and the remains of chemical substances in the pots, scientists were able to uncover the secrets of ancient Egyptian mummification. Scientists have long been reconstructing the embalming process. Some details of this craft were known from ancient texts, but nuances of the process remained unknown. Now with the discovery of the workshops, scientists have finally obtained those missing details, making this find in Saqqara incredibly valuable for archaeology. The Pyramid of Khufu remains the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world that has survived to this day. Built over 4,500 years ago, it continues to be one of the largest structures ever constructed in human history. Research on the Pyramid of Khufu has been ongoing for over two centuries. During this time, archaeologists have discovered three chambers inside the pyramid, but none have contained the body of Khufu. Recently, researchers from the Aera collaboration observed unusual channels and structures inside the pyramid that experts believe could be a primitive security system against tomb raiders. Upon examining these structures, archaeologists concluded that the pyramid had two levels of protection against robbers. The first was located at the entrance of the pyramid. It consisted of three monolithic stone slabs that were raised above the entrance using grooves and blocks and held in place by supports. The second set of protective elements was located in the inner sanctuary leading to the tomb. Their operating principle was arranged in a similar manner. Despite Khufu's meticulous planning, this security system did not save his tomb from robbers. When archaeologists first discovered the pyramid, the entrance to the tomb had already been opened. However, scientists continue to hope that there is a fourth secret chamber inside the pyramid, also protected and hidden, where the body of Pharaoh Khufu may still be found. That's all from me. If you liked this video, don't forget to rate it, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell. Your engagement is the best reward for me. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.